Hi, this is Chris from Essential SQL, and today we're going to continue learning about the group by clause. Specifically, we're going to look at some of the aggregate functions that can be used with group by in the select statement, and we're going to really focus on the sum function. There are many other aggregate functions, and they're all detailed in my blog at www.essentialsql.com. All right, before we start, I want to show you some detail records from order details that we're going to be using in our examples. What I've done here is I've output the total price for all the order detail records in the system. And I did this just so that you get a sense of that there are multiple records per order ID. And that's really all at this point that you need to see. Uh, we don't really need to do the calculations because what we're going to do next is we're actually going to group on the same formula, the unit price times quantity, and get a sum of total price for the order ID. So for instance, in this case, it would be 33 plus 15, which is um, 48. So let's try that. So here's an SQL statement that I could use to calculate the total price per order based off the price being uh, the unit price times quantity. And what I'm doing is I'm using the group by order ID to make the calculation of the sum lie within each unique grouping of orders. So when I run this, you'll see that, for instance, for order ID 1, as we said, the answer would be 48. So when it went, it went through and it totaled up the um, unit price times quantity for each record for order ID 1, came up with a result, output it. it. Went on to order ID number 2, came up with a result, and then output. In fact, I can actually sort these. So if I come in with the same statement, I can do... Um, the group by, but then you'll see here where I have total price descending. So I'm using this alias total price in my order by statement, and I'm in doing this in descending order. And you'll see now I have the highest orders top of my result set and the lowest orders at the bottom. If you have any questions about this lesson or others, please tweet me at sqlchris.com or visit my website at www.sqlchris.com essentialsql.com. Thanks.